I'm Sean Weston from foodbev.com. I'm here with Lawrence Mott, the Vice President of Technologies and Service Products for Tetra Pak. And you're here at Anuga Food Tech 2012 in Cologne. Nice to meet you, Lawrence. Nice to meet you, Sean. Uh, you're unveiling some uh, concepts here at the show, uh, which is quite a new thing for Tetra Pak. Yeah, this isn't something we've typically done in the past. But what we wanted to be able to do here was provide our customers some kind of insight as to where the industry was going and to inspire them a little bit, of course, and to be able to get their, some of their feedback on some of the, uh, the interesting concepts and developments that we're working on. Okay, what sort of feedback have you had so far? We've had excellent feedback, in fact. I could maybe explain to you uh, a little bit about what we've launched. So we've launched our hyperspeed machine here, where we are actually uh, demonstrating this in concept form. Of course, it won't be ready until approximately 2015, but it will be the fastest uh, packaging machine in the world. We can produce 40,000 packages an hour. Quite well, remarkable. How much faster is that than, than the usual benchmark? Well, our, our benchmark today is around about 24,000 packages an hour. So you can see that it's a, it's a considerable increase in capacity. That is quite a, a massive increase, actually. And so uh, the interest that, that you've had uh, sort of geographically at the moment uh, from customers, uh, can you tell me a little more about that? Well, it's, um, I would say at the moment there is a, a very, very broad interest geographically in it customers from all over the world have been looking at it and it's really been a, a focus piece here on the stand. Um, but I would say in the future, you know, the customers who would be particularly interested in this machine are those who are interested in uh, looking for, you know, very uh, large operational cost reductions, those who uh, want to invest in uh, high capacity. So perhaps those type of customers who are already invested in uh, speed lines today or are interested in investing in speed lines in the future. Okay. Technically speaking now, how, how are you achieving that sort of speed? There was a couple of enablers that were required, in fact, in order to achieve these type of speeds. The first one is, which I think is a, a remarkable piece of development, is a way to be able to seal and then form the package and then outfeed the package in a continuous motion. So we've, uh, we use a, a process where we keep hold of the package and form it in a kind of origami type way right to the end of the machine before we actually put it onto a conveyor. It's a really impressive continuous motion piece of machinery. And, and, and that's, then, that's very innovative technology as well. That's quite forward, progressive technology. It's, uh, this continuous motion uh, technology is very, very innovative indeed. And then there was something else required, which I think was uh, even perhaps even more innovative in some ways. Um, the um, global industry typically uses uh, chemical sterilants to sterilize the uh, packaging materials or the inside of uh, APET uh, packages and so on and so forth. This is not feasible at these type of speeds, so we've had to move to a dry, non-contact sterilization technology called E-Beam, and uh, we've unveiled it here. It won't be integrated into our equipment until around about 2015, but it's a complete first for the liquid food packaging industry where we are uh, completely removing the uh, chemicals uh, from the uh, sterilization process and moving to an electron beam sterilization technology. Okay. Are you working with uh, partners on this or is it totally in-house? We are working in collaboration uh, with some joint development uh, uh, suppliers here. Uh, for example, we've made it very clear that the, uh, the uh, supplier and uh, the joint developer for the E-Beam is a company called Comet, based in Switzerland. Okay. Uh, Lawrence, how, uh, 2015 is sort of the launch date for, for much of this concept technology right now. That's it, three years from now. What's going to happen in that three years? Well, of course, we are also unveiling many other types of uh, uh, novel technologies uh, today uh, and on the show here, which will be available much before then. So if you take a walk through the show, you can see uh, numerous uh, products that we've launched, uh, TBA Edge, uh, the uh, TEA, Tetravero Aseptic 1000 on the A6 machine here, uh, the first uh, true uh, carton bottle, ambient carton bottle for uh, liquid dairy products, milk. We've also, uh, you can look at the automation booth, and understand how we've managed to develop a completely integrated concept for our customers. So they have, uh, through Tetra Plant Master, now we've fully integrated our packaging and processing for simplification of uh, plant control. It's a very nice piece of technology indeed. How is the company approaching food safety? We're the, I believe we're the uh, only company here that has a booth completely dedicated to food safety. And our approach to food safety is, of course, is completely uncompromising. That's where we start. And we look at food safety right the way through the value chain. So our job in Tetra Pak is to make sure that our customers can have a really good night's sleep by looking after all of these safety aspects in advance of any product launch for them and during production. 
So uh, we look at the safety of the packaging material, we look at the safety of the filling equipment, we look at the safety of the processes under which it runs, of the plant control, of the traceability, which we believe that we're uh, a world leader in. In short, we take a completely holistic view on food safety. Lawrence, thank you very much for joining me today. You're very welcome. It's a pleasure.